kind. All right, are you a foodie? You are if you enjoy eating and sharing great food and care about who made the food, how it was made, what's in it, what's new. The Sophie Awards are like the Oscars of specialty food. This year, there were more than 2,700 entries from amazing chocolates and cheeses to salty snacks. With some of her picks among the Sophie Awards, contenders Louise Kramer. Louise, how are you this morning? I'm fabulous, Mike. How are you? I'm fabulous now that I'm talking about food. I'm a foodie myself, and in the, the world of food, why are these Sophie Awards, what, what makes them so significant? Well, the Sophie Awards represent the best of the best of specialty food makers across the country and even around the world. And there are 43-year-old contests. We had 2,715 entries this year. Mm -hmm. So these are, and they were judged by professional chefs and people who make buying decisions for the most wonderful stores from Whole Foods and Kroger to Dean and DeLuca and Williams Sonoma, they really know what they're tasting. They taste food for a living. So these products represent the latest trends and the latest um, flavor combinations, et cetera, that are out there. And they can, these are a preview of what's going to be next in stores. Yeah, do you, do you want to go over some of those? I've got these, uh, these jalapeno parmesan crisps right here. I would, I would love right to, and here. first of all, I, I was going to say, now that you're a cabana boy, I think if you <laughs> serve these jalapeno <laughs> parmesan chips with your drinks, these are a fabulous accompaniment to drinks. <laughs> they're, they're tasty. It's only two ingredients, jalapenos and parmesan cheese, aged parmesan cheese. It's baked, not fried. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Tiger nut flour makes great chocolate chip cookies and it's gluten free, very healthy from organic Gemini. And I want to say this is from Kitchen Table Bakers. It's a company that was created by an ex healthcare executive for his own healthy snacking. Coconut is a huge trend. Yeah. Hey Boo Coconut Jam was one of our award finalists. It's delicious on waffles. It's a new twist. Again, all of these are twists on some traditional products of jam, but it's a coconut jam. Uh -huh. Tea, rhubarb and ginger tea. What could be more summery? And also ginger is a very hot flavor across many of the food products we saw. Mm -hmm. And the rhubarb, of course, is summery. It's great as iced tea or hot tea. Oh, wow. Then granola. This is purely Elizabeth blueberry hemp granola. And I will tell you, the hemp will not make you high but this <laughs> granola will make you very happy. <laughs> okay. And then stone ground flakes, simple ingredients, three ingredients, stone ground wheat, a touch of sugar, and a touch of salt, all made in the U.S., all organic. That's the simple thing that's going on mm -hmm. in food that we're seeing all over. Then this is one of my favorites. Imagine grandma's sour balls transformed for today's foodie culture. Tori and Howard Meyer lemon and raspberry um, candies. They're all organic and they're only 12 calories each. It packs an amazing flavor punch. They last a long time. You can keep them in your purse or your briefcase or your backpack, have them on your desk. They're really good. The Meyer lemon's not too tart. The big winner at our show was this little company in Vermont called Big Picture Farm. They won two awards for their goat milk caramels. Oh, wow. We see rhubarb again. The big winner, it's like best movie of the year, out standing new product mm -hmm. goat goat milk caramels with rhubarb and raspberry all from vermont goat milk and these are caramels that don't rip out your teeth they're pure caramels and they just melt in your mouth with tons of flavor gotcha and i'm really intrigued by the rhubarb uh, that you were talking about the rhubarb ginger that sounds like a very intriguing uh, item and are all these currently on the market they all are available on the market. Some of them are just breaking out, and these were all at our fancy food show. This is where the buyers come, and mm -hmm. you'll start seeing them even more and more. But they're all available online at each company's website, and also you can find more information about them at our website, specialtyfood.com. Specialtyfood.com, so we can get a link to all those other products there. Absolutely. And I'm going to try these jalapeno parmesan crisps as soon as we get done with this interview, Louise. Thanks for your time this morning.
It's my pleasure and joy, and have fun being the cabana boy. <laughs> All right. I'll invite you to town. You can, you can help me out. You can serve cocktails with me. Thanks. I appreciate it. I will. I will. I have great cocktail mixers for you. I bet you do. Great talking to you. I got to run. Have a great day. All right. More food talk straight ahead with Chef Maureen Petrosky. I hear she has an unconventional way to cook cabbage. We'll see if you're inspired. Coming up.